Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make fish curry with brinjal. It's going to be really spicy and tasty. First of all, we've got a medium-sized salmon, washed, cut and cleaned. I've got a medium-sized onion with four green chilies sliced in half. Six tomatoes, which have been grated. A sprig and a half of curry leaf. And a teaspoon of sugar, as you can see there. Here I have half a teaspoon of mustard seeds, one cinnamon stick, half a teaspoon of jeera, two elachi pods, a full teaspoon of methi seeds, and one dried chili broken up in half. I've got a teaspoon of lemon juice, two tablespoons of tomato paste, a teaspoon of garlic and ginger each. And here I've got half a teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of jeera powder, and a tablespoon and half of curry powder. And here I have two cloves of garlic which have been sliced into four and 12 medium sized brinjals which I have washed and I have sliced up in halves. So we're going to start off by frying the garlic and the brinjal for our fish curry. If you want you can leave out the garlic and brinjal but we prefer that for more thicker gravy. Okay let's start. Here I've got some oil in a pot. And I'm going to fry up my garlic cloves. Okay. While that's frying, I'm going to add in my brinjal. Just remember guys, when, when you wash your brinjal, make sure you pat them dry. So you don't get much of water that tops up in the oil with a lot of splatter. This is going to fry for a few minutes. Let's spread this out. Okay. Once this fries, not too soft, not too much, not too mushy as well, but just so it's firm. So before the curry is almost cooked, in, we're gonna put this into the gravy. You can see it's frying nicely. Let's give it a stir. You can serve your fish curry with rice or with roti. I'm doing mine with roti today. If you guys need the roti recipe, it's on file as well. On my page, save for the cook. Have a look there. Just sign up nicely. Give it a stir. Just keep moving it around. We're going to fry this up for another three minutes and then we're going to take this out. Okay guys, we're back. Now that it's cut up for five minutes, I'm going to be taking this out and leaving it aside. As you can see, it's soft but not too mushy. Just gonna scoop all this out and leave it aside for later on. Okay, then okay, to this hot oil now I'm going to be adding in all my spices. Okay. That's some dried chili, the mustard seeds, the lychee powder, the methi seed, the jeera powder. I'm gonna let this fry up for a few minutes until all the flavor is released. Fang up nicely and gently. To this, I'm going to be adding in my onion and chili. I'm going to let this fry up. Give it a stir. While this is frying up and the onion is sucking, I'm going to be adding in the garlic and ginger. Okay. 
Let's give it a stir. Make sure everything fries up nicely. You can smell the milky seeds. It smells wonderful with the onion. Let's give it a stir. Wait a few minutes. Not a minute, seconds actually. Wait to soften up. Now that it's nice and soft, we're going to add in the curry powder. Let that cook up. That's the curry powder, the jeera, and the turmeric. Give it a stir. I wish you guys could smell my kitchen right now. It smells amazing. With the curry powder, the garlic and ginger, and the onion. I promise you it's amazing. Now that the curry powder has fried up a bit and we cooked it a bit, we're going to be dropping in the grated tomatoes with the curry leaf. And a bit of stir. Everything's mixed up nicely. Okay. See the calm down with the heat as the tomatoes are quite cold. To this, I'm going to be adding in my tomato paste. I'm going to give this a good mix. The color looks quite nice now. The thing is, when you add tamarind, it tends to make your curry a bit darker. If you feel it's too dark, you can always add in some big yellow food coloring, which tends to work. Okay. To this, I'm going to be adding in my salt now. That's as per your taste. More. There we go. I'm going to let this simmer for five minutes. And then we're going to be adding in the tamarind and let that cook up for a bit. So five minutes guys and you're ready to add in the tamarind. Okay so I've put in the tamarind water after five minutes now and I've put in the lemon juice as well. This is going to cook for another five minutes before we add in the fish. Okay like I told you guys when you add in tamarind it's going to get a bit darker which it has got a bit darker. And if you want to add in some food color or some more redness, you can do so. So five minutes more and I'm going to add in the fish. Okay guys, we're back now to check this curry after five minutes. You can see the tamarind has cooked with the tomatoes. Give it a good stir. There we go. Now to this, I'm going to put in the fish. I'm going to let that simmer on low. Okay. So the curry is nice and red as well. That goes in our fish. Last goes in our fish head. Make some place for that. Now we're going to give it a stir. Put the gravy over the fish and we're going to let this simmer on low for about 10 minutes. I'm not going to be adding any water in here as there will be water coming off the fish. It's going to bubble on low. There we go. Put some gravy over these fish. Everything soaked through. In the cooking process. There we go. 
dosage. I'm gonna turn this on low, it's gonna simmer for the next 10 minutes. Okay guys, it's five minutes into cooking. I'm just gonna give it a stir. See the gravy's come off. The water's actually come off the fish. I'm not gonna move it around too much as we don't want it to break. Now while this is simmering, we're going to be adding in, just gonna scoop some gravy over the other fish. We're going to be adding in our brinjal and garlic which we have fried. Just gonna scatter it everywhere. There we go. And then this is gonna simmer for another eight minutes because the brinjal is still is soft as well. It hasn't gotten too mushy, but it was like pre-cooked. I'm just gonna scatter this all over the place with the garlic. And we're gonna let this simmer away. Eight minutes, and our curry is ready to be served. Just make sure you push your brinjal down into the gravy so it absorbs the fish gravy. There we go. I'm still not adding any water as there's still gravy that's coming through. So we're gonna give this another eight minutes and we're gonna switch it off. Let it soak in its own juices. Okay guys, we're back. Now we're gonna check our curry. Wow, this looks and smells amazing. Now I'm just gonna move the fish around and I'm going to switch up the stove and throw in some coriander and let this soak up for maybe an hour before we dish out our supper. Goes in our coriander, and there we have it, guys. Our fish curry, perfectly cooked with brinjal and extra garlic. Here we go, guys. Our fish curry with brinjal and extra garlic, served with roti. The roti recipe you guys can find on my previous blog, Save by the Cook. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Don't forget to comment down below and hit the bell button. Notifications of when I'll do my next post. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye.